How is everybody today? I am doing great. I am actually able to get some work today. I'm actually, I'm trying to get, I was, you know what I'm saying. I was, I, I have been able to get work done today. The kids have been very good. So anyways, you guys, I am going to bring to you today, I swear I remake these videos over and over again, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna let you guys see, it's in the raw. Um, I'm gonna bring to you two beach vibe uh, DIYs today. I know usually I've been doing four DIYs in one video, but I'm noticing not a lot of people are kind of sticking through for the entire video. So I'm gonna try and drop some shorter videos so that I can put out more videos is just kind of gauge if um, you guys like that a little bit more than my 20 minute video. So definitely in the comments, let me know how you like this one versus the 20 minute ones. Hank is down here. Hankers, come here. Say hi. Come here. Come here. He's like, you actually want me over there? Hi. Can you say hi to everybody? You have to come over here. Honey. You can't. It, you're, come here. Come over here. Okay. He's trying. He's under the table trying to get. Oh gosh, you're a hot mess. Can you say hi, Hank? No. Okay. So you guys, let's go ahead and get started with those two beach vibe DIYs. And um, most of our items are from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. Walk in. I don't want you anymore. I don't want you. Don't get into my stuff. Here we go, you guys. These are the projects we're going to be making today. These are our beach seashell hangers. As you can see, I got a bathing suit on there, a little scarf, my handbag, and I am ready to go to the beach. And this is gonna be another DIY I'm going to show you how to do, which is make, making this beach vibes sign which is so adorable. It's very lightweight. It was so much fun creating it as well. So we're gonna start with that beach vibe sign. So these are the wood plank signs that you get from Dollar Tree. They come six in a pack. We're gonna be using five basically for B-A-C-H, B-E-A-C-H. <laughs> I'm using the gel super glue from Dollar Tree and I am going to be gluing our planks together and then putting popsicle sticks on all of the seams to ensure that they have a nice hold to them, that they'll be sturdy once it's hanging up. Um, this is so lightweight, you guys, but it's still just better safe than sorry. You know what I'm saying? So do that. Do not flood these with glue because they will come you know, in between the panels and you'll be able to see it once you paint on there. And now I am just measuring out where I want to put my holes because we do want to hang this up. Now I still don't know how to read a calculator. I know an inch, a half an inch. I don't know all the other stuff, but who needs to, right? Uh, now I'm just drilling the holes in it. You don't have to have a drill. It This is so lightweight that you can use super glue and attach twine or whatever it is you want to the back of it and it'll hold up perfectly fine. I just happen to have one, so I'm gonna go and be extra and do it. So we are going to finish up putting our planks together. Make sure if you are drilling holes in the top one, do that before you attach it to the sign. And repeat, repeat, repeat. So if you see that little extra piece right there on the side, that is because the wood kept bowing up and I was trying to get it to stay down, which it didn't really happen. So I will put all of these paints, you guys, down below, and we are gonna start our beach scene. What's nice about the planks is, basically each plank is going to transition into another color. So this is our sand. I stop at like the first plank, and then I'm going to go in with our next color and so on. The thing is you want to make them look like they're transitioning into each other so don't just do bold this is one plank and a straight line you want it to kind of mix 
wherever they meet into each other, if that makes sense. And here, if you notice, I'm not like super crazy covering it because all of those parts that you can still see the wood through, we are going to put our whitewash right there. So this is Ocean Blue by Waverly. I, like I said, I will put all of the paint colors I use, but play around with it, have fun with it. These are so awesome. Go on Pinterest and look up beach paintings and you'll get so inspired by them. Anybody can do this, I promise you. Um, now I'm going to mix a little bit of ocean with black to get, like if you're looking out into the ocean, the furthest, furthest part of it where it looks totally black, that's what we're trying to achieve here. And we're just going up again and see how I'm kind of going on top of the ocean blue because we want it. There we go. There we go. That, 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 that. Have fun with it, you guys. That is the most important part about crafting, right? And now I'm taking, that is, I believe, Cloudless by Apple Barrel. And that's going to be our top. That's going to be our sky. And for my brushes, I just used chippy brushes. And then these, I don't know if these are what they're called on the package, but they're my Dollar Tree brushes I use for everything. So I was trying to dry this, but you guys, you don't want it dry. You want to be able to go in with your white paint to make your, um, your breaks. And you want it to kind of blend in with your paint, if that makes sense. So make sure you're keeping your whitewash to the bottom of this, because if you've been to the ocean, the waves break, they don't break out further, like where it's darker. They are coming up, they crest, and then they break down, and that's where the whitewash comes from. So make sure you're keeping it towards the bottom so it actually looks like a real beach scene. So as you can see, I did put them where you can see the wood and now we're just making super simple clouds. I mean, these were so simple. And look at how cute that is. Now I do notice that the top part, that black is like super black. So I'm gonna add more ocean into it so that it transitions a little, a little better. A little smoother. All right. That looks good, like I'm proud of myself, girlfriend. Okay, now we're taking beads, you guys. I just bought more beads, that bag on the right. Bought some more from Amazon. And I told myself when I got it, I was like, dang, I didn't know these beads were that little, but you know what, I use them. And guess what, I use whatever is around me. <laughs> so that is just, um, I'm just trying to contain my beads. And I use two, you guys, I don't know the sizes of them, maybe eight millimeter. And then I use four smaller ones and kind of rotate them around. I kept them with the natural wood because why wouldn't you with this beach scene? It doesn't need any added extras. It's just so pretty. I love it. I have been loving adding the beads to things because I think it just adds so much to a piece. It just makes it step up a little notch, you know? And now we're just tying those off. Cut, 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 cut. And there you go. So cute. So, oh yeah, I'm cuckoo. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, now I made this stencil on my Cameo and it says beach and I don't know why, but I was like, it's weird if I just put beach. I don't know why, you guys. So I put beach and then vibes on the back are on the bottom of this stencil. And then I am just putting it straight down the middle of it. It was perfect size. I think I measured this, it was um, two by 14. And I'm gonna press that in there, make sure it's on good. And um, you're gonna see me, I'm gonna try to explain this because I am fast forwarding it. Um, I get the heat gun on top of it because the this vinyl isn't really adhering that well like as well as it usually does and when you put heat on it that really sticky sticky part of the back of your vinyl it kind of starts melting and it helps your vinyl adhere so that is what i'm doing with my heat gun do not get too close or you will melt your vinyl okay well 
that didn't show you anything. DIY number two, all of these little wood samples, free at Home Depot, okay? So we're taking three of those. We're taking hangers, rocks, little wood cubes, a hanger, and seashells, all from Dollar Tree, except the wood planks, those are from Home Depot. So I got these little hangers off of picture frames that I used from the tier tree in my previous video. And I am just putting them right in the middle of our wood sign. And I just used the little nails that come in the pack of sawtooth hangers. I don't know if you could buy them separately. And now we're taking our coat rack or whatever this is called. And these are so easy. You just bend them back and, and forth a couple times and they come off. And now I'm cutting, they had like a little ridge on them and you want to cut them off. So I'm using this painter's tape, you guys, as a guide for how far up I want to put my hook. And then I'm going in with a uh, super glue and the hot glue gun to get this to hold. And then I don't think I show it, but I do cover the entire back of that hook with hot glue to give it an extra sturdy hold. And as you see, I am putting the hot, or sorry, the super glue right at the like two inch mark so I can ensure I'm getting it in the middle. And you're just going to repeat the steps for all three. Now those wood little blocks, we're taking those, we're trying to add something to adhere them to the tile to. So the bigger ones are perfect because I just hot glue them on and they are gonna hot glue to the tile way easier because they're hollow inside. So you need something. Now for these little seashells, I use those rocks and I'm just hot gluing the rocks inside of them. And then you'll see how much easier, cause it's like, if it's hollow, you're gonna have to fill those suckers up with hot glue or something because you, there would be nothing to stick it to, if that makes sense. So here's one of our wood, our faux, our faux wood. And now it's gonna be so much easier because I'm just putting the hot glue on the rocks and the little wood piece and it's awesome. And you could hardly see the wood, the little wood cube underneath the big seashell. And the smaller seashell, you don't see the rock at all. So this is just an easier way of getting them to adhere to something, if that makes sense. And then I just made them all a little different from each other, staggered them up. And you guys, that's it so easy. Now I want to say my trick, you guys, um, the Home Depot, you get them free and they're by like the tile and stuff. So every time I make a visit, I just take like four of them or something and have like a nice little stockpile of them to use for crafts. So here's the outcome of them. You guys, they look so good. I re I don't know. I love both of them a lot. They look so good and they turned out way better than I could have imagined. Um, again, I am trying these shorter videos. So if you like the shorter videos, let me know. If I'm going too fast through my videos, please let me know. I'm just starting. So I am going to take all these opinions. I'm going to listen to you guys. I want these videos to suit you guys as much as they suit me. So um, please drop a comment. Let me know which one you liked the best. And also let me know if you like the shorter videos versus um, the 20 minute videos. So I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.